in quadrilateral ABCD above, BC is parallel to AD, and AB equals CD. If BC and AD were each doubled, and BE is reduced by 50%, how would the area of ABCD change? For these kinds of questions where you're changing the area and you want to know, or you're, in this case, changing the dimensions and you want to know if the area changes as a result, two ways you can handle it. One is you can do it abstractly. So you could look at the formula and say, what would happen if I double this and reduce this by 50% on what would be the effect on the overall area? Or you can plug in numbers, create, in this case, a trapezoid with certain dimensions, change the dimensions as they instruct, and see how the area differs. So I'll show you both. First things first, if we know the formula for the area of a trapezoid, it makes this question a little bit easier. So definitely something that you'd want to know. And this is, I believe, not in the front of the test. Let me just double check that. Yeah, I don't believe it's in the front, but let's see. Uh, no. So you don't have the area for the trapezoid given to you, so you would have to know this. And basically, it's 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times the height. Base 1 and base 2 being, in this case, AD and BC. As a side note, you actually could do this problem without knowing this formula. You could basically break this up into two triangles and a rectangle and do basically everything we're going to do now in, in that way. I would recommend if you were to do this to plug in numbers, find the area of the triangles and the rectangle with those numbers, and then plug in uh, and then change those dimensions as instructed and see how the areas change. So you could do it without the formula, but just for the purposes of this episode, I'm going to do it just with the trapezoid formula. Let's do it with plugging in first because I think it's easier. So let's pick a side length of AD. Let's make this 20. Let's make this 10. Let's make this 6. So now let's figure out the original area. So the original area is going to be 1 half... 20 plus 10 is 30 times 6. So that's going to be a 90. Next, let's change the dimensions as instructed. So we're going to double A, B, C, and A, D. So now it's going to be 40 and 20. And we're going to reduce B, E, the height, by half. So it's going to be 3. So let's figure out what the new area of this trapezoid is going to be. So it's going to be 1 half. 40 plus 20 is 60 times 3. So again, we get 90. So notice actually the area doesn't change. So we're going to pick choice C. And if you look at this abstractly, which is another way to do it, again, if you can do it two ways, do it both plug in and the abstract way, that's awesome because it helps you um, uh, make sure you're doing the question right. But if we look at this abstractly, it makes sense why this wouldn't change. So what we're basically doing is we're taking our base 1 and base 2 and we're multiplying them by 2. But then we're having, right, reducing by 50% our height. So it's 1 half times height. Notice next, if I factor a 2 out of the B1 plus B2, this times 2 and this 1 half cancel. So what we're left with is 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times height, which is the exact place we started. So when we double these dimensions and have this, that doubling and having cancels by the math here, and we get back the original equation, which again just emphasizes that there's no change to the area when you make the changes to these dimensions. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.